Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to move on to page uh, six of your unit eight notes. Uh, and we're going to talk uh, more about distance and rate and time. Uh, but this time we're going to be uh, looking at rate <coughs> and um, uh, some more of the rate problems. Uh, this time, the problem is going to be about um, them, um, two different objects starting in the same point but moving opposite directions for a specific amount of time. And uh, we don't really know what the amount of time is, uh, but we want to know how, how long it takes for them to get so far apart. Okay, And so basically it kind of looks like this. So like they're both going to start at this point here. Um, and then in the example we have, it says two boats starting at the same point head in opposite directions. Okay, So boat one is going to go this direction, and then boat two is going to head that direction, right? So boat one uh, averages 36 miles per hour. Okay, so he gets 36 for every hour that he drives. Okay, and um, they don't know, it doesn't tell us how many hours. So if it doesn't tell us how many hours, we're going to use that as t. So 36 times the number of hours is how far he will get going that direction. And it says the other boat drives 54 miles per hour okay and we don't know how long that drives for either and what they want to know is how long will it take them to get exactly 450 miles apart okay so uh, if one is going 36 miles to the left and the other is going 54 miles an hour to the right how long until they're exactly 450 miles apart Okay, and uh, if you kind of look at this, right, you could just kind of say, well, hey, if I took what the one on the left goes and the one on the right goes, and I add those two together, that'll tell me the distance that they're going to go all together, right? And really, that's all you're going to do. You're going to take 36t, and you're going to add it to 54t, right? So 36 times the number of hours plus 54 times the number of hours is going to equal the distance of 450. Okay? And then all you got to do now is just solve it. So 54 and 36, that equals 90. So 90t equals 450. Divide by 90. And t equals 5. So in 5 hours, the two boats will be exactly 450 miles apart. All right, so that, I mean that's pretty simple what they're doing there, right? You you just basically take uh, the rate and time that it takes them in each direction, add them together, and that'll give you your total time. And that's about it. Okay, the next kind of problem we have, example two. It says Maria biked for five hours and averaged ten miles per hour. Okay, so that's the total amount that she did. She biked for five hours, and she did that. Okay, at 10 miles per hour. Okay, so the total that she did was how much? It was 50. So she hit 50 miles, right? Okay, now it breaks down her course, right? She started out with, okay, in the first three hours, so for three hours, she averaged 12 miles per hour. Okay, so for three hours, she drove 12 miles per hour. Okay, well, how many hours does she have left, right? She has two more hours left to ride because she had a total of five. So it says, what was her average speed in the last two hours? So whatever she averaged for the first has to be added to the last part. So two hours, and we don't know what that rate was, right? So the rate, we need to find the rate that she drove for the la last two hours. Okay, so if we solve these, 3 times 12 is 36, and we still have the 2R. Okay, then we just solve for r. This is all stuff we've done before, right? So minus 36 on both sides. We get what? 14 equals 2r. Divide by 2. And the rate for the last two hours will be 7 miles per hour. So she made 7 miles per hour for the last two hours. That's as simple as it gets, guys. The total amount that she went, okay, so she went this much just a total she started off with this part 
and then she had to add to that the last part. Okay, so when you take these problems, break them down into their little sections. The total amount that she has equals the first part plus the second part. And that's it. All right. Um, on page seven now, there's a couple of try these. Give those a shot. See if you can understand what to do. Uh, rewind back if you have to. Uh, and then uh, pause this and then come back when you're ready. Okay, so let's look at this example. Okay, so the first example, it says uh, two airplanes left the same airport traveling in opposite directions. All right, so this is going to be one of those where they go opposite each other. Okay, now the first one travels at 400 miles per hour, and they're going to want to know how many hours. So 400 times the time. And then the other one goes the other direction at 250 times the time. Okay, and they want to know what the distance will be or how long it is until their distance is their distance is 1625 miles. Okay, and we want to know the time. So how, what kind of time do we get? Okay, so time is question mark. All right, so uh, if one's going one direction and one's going the other direction, we have to add them together, right, to get our total distance. So we have 400t plus 250t is going to equal to 1,625 miles, right? So 400 times the uh, number of hours they fly plus 250 times the number of hours they fly equals 1,625 miles total. All right. So let's solve it. We have like terms, so we combine them. You get 650t equals 1,625. Divide by 650 on both sides. That's not going to be an easy one. So we have 1,625 over 650. Might be easy if we could just leave that like that. But we can't. <clears throat> and uh, I happen to uh, cheat just a little bit. And I happen to know that 325 can go into both of these. Okay, and if you reduce that down, you get 1625 divided by 325 is 5. 650 divided by 325 is 2. So 5 over 2 is equal to 2 and 1 half. And that means it's 2 and 1 half hours. So the two planes have to fly for 2 and a half hours to be 1,625 miles apart. Okay, if you want to check your work, put 5 over 2 back into the original equation that we made for both of the t's. Work it back out. It should come out to be just right, right? There you go. All right. So hopefully those kind of make sense for you, right? Uh, opposite directions, you're going to be adding them together because they're traveling. Uh, one's traveling a far away and the other's traveling a far, far away distance in different directions. So you got to add those distances together. All right. So let's take a look at the second example. Okay, so Mike biked for 8 hours and averaged 12 miles per hour. So that's his total trip, 8 hours for 12 miles per hour, okay? In the first 5 hours, so for 5 hours, he averaged 15 miles per hour, okay? What was his average speed in the last 3 hours? So he's got 3 hours left. We want to know what his rate was. Okay? And there we go. So now we just got to solve for r. So 8 times 12 is 96. 5 times 15 is 75. And you have 3r. Subtract 75 from both sides. You get 21 equals 3r. Divide by 3. And the rate that he has to travel at for the last 3 hours was 7 miles Per hour. All right. Hopefully those two make sense to you. Um, feel free to ask if you have questions. There, there's some pretty simple formulas, so just take your time. Uh, once you set them all up, it's totally simple. So uh, hopefully you're getting these things into your head and uh, figuring out how to solve these. So uh, just setting them up is the hard part. Once you get them set up, it's pretty simple algebra. I mean, this takes you back to the beginning of the year, if not pre-algebra, right? All right. Ask if you got any questions.